people don't like me anymore. I know that my impact on climate is a big topic of discussion, but I'm quite strong and have been protecting humans for so many years. Totally, I feel you. But what can we do? You know, kids, I've been around for a while and have seen more human generations than both of you combined. When humans shifted from hunting to agriculture, they needed permanent houses to shelter from rain and wildlife. And they found the easiest and abundant material to build houses was mud. It's everywhere. Since then, our world has seen amazing mud buildings like Taos Pueblo in New Mexico, Fujian Tolu in China, and Chibam in Yemen. Wow! I wonder how many people still live in mud houses. It is estimated that one out of every ten person on our planet live in mud houses. with the proportion increasing to 2 in 10 for low and middle income countries that's quite some people well i have portland cement to give me strength and i get it through heating how do you get your strength so mud consists of various particles of different sizes you probably know them as clay sand gravel and so on clay and water binds all the particles together and when the soil dries it becomes strong through capillary suction you see capillary suction is how sand castles stay in shape but with clay the suction is quite high look at chibam in yemen a town with mud buildings up to 8 story high you see when you select good soil and the right technique for mud construction it can be strong unlike concrete the composition of mud varies from location to location but most often it is strong enough to build up to two stories and you can improve its strength further by high compaction adding extra sand or clay to the mud mix and even adding cement or hydraulic lime adding cement or lime is often debated and it should be used only when there are no other options okay But what about durability? Durability is a concern only when a mud house is poorly designed. Case in point: these mud buildings, now heritage monuments, have survived for more than 300 years, all thanks to good design and understanding of mud. Nowadays, architects and engineers also add cement or lime to improve water resistance of mud. But the old school technique works too. Good head. and strong boots meaning a good roof and a strong stable foundation can protect mud walls in all seasons oh yeah i've even heard of people trying to 3d print mud yes 3d printing is the latest of the many ways to build with mud we also have traditional techniques like adobe which is hand compacted sand dried block and cob where big lumps of wet soil are placed on top of each other to make free standing walls and more modern techniques like ceb or compressed earth block in which soil is compacted in a manual or hydraulic press and rammed earth where soil is rammed layer by layer to make free standing walls and many more impressive But isn't mud meant for building houses for the poor? Honestly, this is the biggest misconception about mud. Although many poor people across the world do build their houses using mud due to its low material cost and ease of availability, lack of finances and proper knowledge make it difficult to construct long-lasting mud buildings, which then gives mud the reputation of being poor men's material but look around there are so many mud buildings that are beautiful durable and sometimes quite expensive cool mud houses but don't you think that you are no longer relevant in the present times did you know that the building and construction sector is responsible for about 36% of global energy use and 39% of CO2 emission 
This is partly caused by production of industrial materials like cement and partly due to operational needs such as cooling and heating. So, using mud for construction is very much relevant in today's world where the focus is on reducing carbon footprint. With mud, you only need to mix it with water and build using one of the construction techniques. Mud can also be reused several times and since no heating is required, the energy usage is also low. And guess what's the most useful property of mud is? It's breathability. Just like human skin, mud can absorb and release moisture. It is literally breathing. This breathability is responsible for keeping mud houses cool in summer and warm in winter. Now that's energy efficient and save electricity bills. Sounds amazing. I want a mud house too. Tell me what should I do? Haha. <laughs> First and foremost, contact a mud construction expert in your area. If you don't know anyone, just check the working list of mud builders in the description. If you know someone who is not on the list, tell us about them. We will keep updating the list. And of course, if you want some more details on building with mud, check the article in the description. So, last round of drinks. Anything for you guys? Yep, two mud visors please.